This is my uh, 2005 F350. I've had a uh, engine failure while I was driving. The engine just up and stopped. And right now I'm trying to diagnose what's going on. At the moment I'm leaning towards the oil problem because this truck never is short on oil. But when I pulled the stick uh, on the street, I had to have it towed home. But when I was out there in the street with it, it uh, showed about a quart, a quart and a half low or so. Maybe two at the most. But uh, anyway, so I've been back and forth for trying to figure a few things out. Been uh, reading up some stuff on uh, Ford truck enthusiasts. Might want to turn the ham radio off for a minute. And uh, I have a whole basket full of things I've been trying. So this is kind of a summary of the things I have been trying. So we're just going to look at a few things right here. And we'll start this truck. We'll turn that off. So you can see my initial injector ICP voltage is. 0.23 got 48 volts on the Fickham 15% on the ICP regulator truck's got 11 and a half volts right now I'm gonna do a little cranking right now and see what we get ICPR goes to 85 injected control pressure is all over the place but it's not going anyways near where it should. 13, got 162 RPM. Fickham logic is 10. I have to check that. So that's the status on that. I'm going to uh, show one more thing here. My uh, oil, my low pressure oil here. See if we can get that to show what's going on. Now that's interesting. I've been told that I should be able to get some low pressure. There it goes. All right, so I've got a little low pressure oil going. And uh, so it appears to me that low pressure oil is good. But uh, I'm probably going to pop that filter cap off in a minute. Find out what's going on. Anyway, I'll be back in a little bit. So, uh, we're outside now, obviously. Got a charger on it. Just trickle charging away right now. Just so I don't destroy these batteries. I'm going to, uh, pop this filter out. looks pretty fresh. Well, it looks pretty crappy because it's due for an oil change. But it looks like it's been flowing oil. You know, my uh, handsome young assistant is in the car. Go ahead, John. Just... Alright, stop. Alright, I saw, I don't know if you saw it in there, but I saw the oil coming up. So we're good. All right, turn it off. All right. So we've got low pressure oil. That part of the system is. All right. So for the next phase of this operation, I'm gonna try to get down there and uh, pop the valve off. The uh, pop the valve, pop the fitting off. There we go. That was easy. Um, see in there or not, but it's pretty clean, and no oil in it. That's one of the things they say if it's a bad pressure sensor. So this is the injector control pressure sensor. There's no oil in it, and that would be an indicator that there's a problem with the uh, pressure sensor. There is no oil in it, so let's go take a quick spin around. Do it with the keys, there they are. 
Let's see what we get out of this. So now, we've got no pressure uh, voltage, obviously. Oh, there goes my screen. Zip zilt's not a... I don't think we're going to get much out of it. Alright, well that was one of the checks that I was supposed to be doing there just to see what would do. One of the things I can do is take that puppy out and put um, a uh, shop pressure on it. Uh, put shop air pressure on it and see if it uh, leaks out anywhere. I might try that later, but I don't know. I think I might just tear into it and do the FTC since it doesn't hasn't been done yet. Well, let's put that puppy back in. Not breaking anything. Kind of hard to do one-handed. Alright, next up, injector pressure control regulator.